what champions should you put in your progressive chance events that will benefit you the most? And did you know about this tool in the Hell Hades website that can show you whether or not you have enough shards to complete the summoning event? Let's go ahead and talk about it. So first and foremost, on the progressive chance right here, what would I put? I personally would just right off the bat, I would put Duchess. She's such a great, great, great um, legendary champion. You probably already know about her. AoE revive with the heals. She is extremely tanky. You, you can build her fast and tanky. And she also has a passive that mitigates damage. This right here, decreased damage taken by all allies from AoEs by 25%. That's a lot. Plus 15, or only 15 percent from bosses but that's insane plus you have the block buffs and the increased attack with the veil and that's on a four turn cooldown and then she places a shield on herself which is uh, you know, it could be quite annoying to have to deal with plus the aura overall great and insane champion that is just completely legendary in its own original sense there is nothing wrong with choosing pytheon pytheon is a good other option Pytheon, I've, I've pulled him like three times, but he also kind of has some Duchess-like abilities in the sense that he can provide strength in with the AoE revives, and he also has an increase to damage mitigation based on how many buffs are on the entire team, and then he's got an annoying um, A1 mechanic with the heals on a double hitter. Plus, I do like his revive aura. Uko is also not bad. You can put him and stay tuned because I'm about to come out with an Uko video. He's great for buff removals as well as placing the block buffs and some crowd control with a decreased attack. He's also got AoE revives with the increased speed and the block buffs as well. Alva is on my wife's account. Love her for the increase to speed aura and she has the heals on her A1. She also does cleanses, place the block buff, she's got the revive and she just moves extremely fast. And Korra is a fusion event that probably a lot of you guys might already have so i might skip on doing this unless you really want her uh, out of all of them again i would probably pick duchess or pytheon for just overall general account um, account progression elva would be a close runner up but if i had to choose only one i'm definitely going to choose duchess now for the epic section which is something that you are more likely to go ahead and and get I'd probably go for Ugo because Ugo provides the decreased defense on an AoE plus the block buffs, got the heals. The revive is situational, so you have to be aware of that. Um, but also she has the leech on the A1, which is also great for survivability because you heal by like 18% of the damage that you place. And then she does also place increased speed and block damage whenever she is the last one alive and she can revive everybody like that uh like she could revive everybody after this is placed so she survives one turn and then she revives everybody uh, if that is available rector draft is also great because she places the veils the decrease attack on the a1 and the revives gorgorab is more for arena increase speed turn meter boost revives on the a1 or on the a3 as well as the heals and then buff removal on the a1 kind of an og champion uh a lot of people used to build him built him really fast he was kind of like a pseudo arbiter before you could get arbiter but yeah i'd probably go with with a decrease defense on an aoe because that isn't too well i can't say it's not too prevalent because you can actually farm farm war maiden but war, uh i just keep thinking about survivability like war maiden is great but eventually you're going to get into the higher levels of whatever dungeon you're farming or in hydra i would definitely have ugo who can survive and provide more survivability over war maiden who is kind of a glass cannon and only has a one trick shot and that's about it uh so i i would choose ugo then i would do rector drath and then gorgorab if you don't have to have anybody that's that's who i would choose now for the summoning event, you have to get at least 3150 to get the fragments for this champion. If you don't know, this is down here. The point breakdown is 20 for blues, 120 for purples, 200 for primals, and then 500 for sacreds. 
So depending on who you are, what your account is looking like at or looking like currently. Oh, don't forget. Like, sorry, I got to point this out. There is also uh, a summon one, get one event going on right now. It's a really great time to pull. I, I'm not going to lie, especially for something like Duchess. Now, the way it works is you have to you, you've got to start out by summoning a champion of whatever respective um, rarity that you're looking for. So for an example, I'm not going to have a 25x chance to summon Duchess right off the bat. I'm going to have a 15x at the start, but I have to summon a legendary champion to get to 20. Then I have to summon another legendary, and then if I do, then I get a 25x. Now, there is a mercy system. This is not a 2x event, but if I do happen to summon a legendary champion, there is a higher chance up to 25 times. Uh, and I don't know the specific math behind it, but I have seen people talk about it. And a lot of people, the other content creators, say that the, the difference isn't that big. But, you know, honestly, if you want it that badly, aren't you willing to spend? Or maybe you have a crap ton of shards or you're near mercy. Why not pull? You never know. The mercy system is right here. So you can go up to 200 summons without a legendary and then after 200 then you get a five percent increase per shard i've never personally gone 200 without a legendary uh i'm just putting that out there so you're aware of it you could summon i don't think it's bad i think a summon one get one extra as a bonus is a great event to to participate in if you're looking to build your roster my main account is already pretty stacked and i already have two duchesses my wife pulled my second one uh, last year, I think. On the Hell Hades website, if you want to know whether or not you have enough shards to pull, or sorry, enough shards to get the fragments for Kaf Karafu or, or whatever his name, yeah, Kaf Kafru, uh, Death Keeper. Um, oh, this is also here the hybrid fusion requirements. So, this also is going to show you how many chickens you're going to need, how many rank four chickens, which is 16 rank 4 chickens to rank up 4 death keepers to the required level of 50 and descended to fuse into armands and it's also going to show you that if you need um well it shows you how many potions you need for ascension so you're going to need the the white po the arcane potions you're going to need 60 greater ones and then 12 superior and then voids you're going to need 80 and then 24 personally i don't farm the potion keeps anymore i just collect whatever i collect from the clan boss and i always end up with quite a bit just because i don't really go out of my way to ascend too many champions this summon rush calculator on the website is pretty nice because you can check and see okay well i have i don't know 10 void shards right now and one primal and as you update it, it's going to show your point values, and it's going to show you whether or not you have enough for the summit event. It doesn't show the greens, but I think it's pretty obvious it's a one for one. If you have like a thousand or five hundred greens, pull them. That's the equivalent of one sacred shard. Usually, whenever I do these summoning, uh, sorry, whenever I do these fusion events, they usually cost me like seven sacreds. Let me see if that's true for this one. So right now, uh, if I were to put in seven, pull seven sacreds, I'm not going to, you would have enough. It looks like you only need, what, six? Oh, so you could do six and then like one void, or you could do six sacreds, one void, and then like, what is that, two? Or just one blue, and then just pull like a bunch of mystery shards or some type of combination of those. 